Okay, so we've uh, done the automated file name and we've um, saved the document. So I want to also put in our centre name and centre number. So I'm going to close the header and footer now. Right, um, next thing we need to do is to make sure that alignments match the page margins. Okay, so if we um, click up here, I think we can see that, yeah, all the alignments are matching. So I don't think there's any problems there at all. So if you look up here, you can see that all the text is aligned basically to the page margins. Right, so um, next thing, at the start of the document, this is step seven, enter the title Tawara Adventure Centres. So we make a space here and just type out the title um, because they're obviously going to tell you how they want this edited, like centre alignment and things like that. So, how else we said? Uh, title centre alignment, font size, per, uh, font size 30 italic. So it hasn't mentioned what type of font yet. So just leave it as it is. So centered, point size 30, and italic. So that's done. Now, next thing is below the title, add a subtitle and produce by it and add your name. So just underneath. As I said, I won't worry about what it's got to look like yet. So when I scroll down here, probably tell me what to do. There we go. Make the subtitle left aligned, left aligned, point size 18, and they want the fold, uh, font bold, not italic, but underlined. Okay, so that's that done. Right, set the title and subtitle to a serif font. Okay, as you can see, this looks fairly modern, so this is on a sans serif. So a serif font, I should just stick to two fonts, that's Arial and Times New Roman, and Times New Mo Roman is a serif font. So we've done it. Format the text um, from the subheading Activities. Um, from the subheading Activities. So, sorry, hang on a second. Oh, here it is, subheading activities. So you probably spotted it before I did. So that the subheading is all following the text. Sorry, format the text from subheading activities. So from, so it's after this. So that the subheading is all following text is displayed in two equally spaced columns with one centimeter spacing. Okay, so from here all the way down. Sorry, my mouse is ultra sensitive. Okay. Right, so we go to, I believe it's layouts. Yes. Columns. Two columns. Now I'm going to go to more columns. And the spacing needs to be one centimeter. And done. There we go. <laughs> They're all in the body of the text to be fully justified. Okay, so I'm going to go to paragraph for that. And I'm going to select oops, alignment as justified. So move this out of the way to see what we need to do next. Right, font size 11, sans serif, and single line spacing. So here, when I go to line spacing, I'm going to set single. So that's that done. And now we need the font to be um, so 11 point, 11. Okay, and... Right, so obviously we've got to change the subheadings. So font size 11 and sans serif font. So sans serif is the modern looking font. And for that, I always choose Arial. 
Okay, but you can choose whatever font you like, as long as it's serif or sans serif, what they're asking for, choose whatever you want. Okay, I just prefer to stick to those two. That's all. Right, so now all eight um, subheadings in a document, make them center aligned, bold, underlined, and a serif font. So I'm going to hold down control and see if I can select all of these, but my mouse is very sensitive. Oh right, lost them all. There we go. <laughs> okay, I'll just I'll just select these. Right. Okay. So, right, all eight subheadings. Center aligned. There we go. Right, and bold underlined and serif font. So I'm going to choose Times New Roman. Okay, so and 14 point. Okay, so I'm going to do the uh, same for the others up here. So remember, send serif font. Um, sorry, serif, serif font, center aligned, bold, underlined, size 14. Okay, you probably did that a bit quicker than me. <laughs> right, so that's that done now. So that's all sorted. Okay, so um, I suppose this is where we've probably got to enter a chart as we've done on the others. If you've followed my other videos, you should be finding this probably very straightforward now and you're probably predicting things like I am. So um, hopefully we're becoming quite, you know, well acquainted with these exam papers together because this is my first year teaching um, the Cambridge specification. So um, <clears throat> now make sure that there's a single in um, 11 point line spacing after each paragraph. Okay, so after each paragraph, there needs to be a single 11 point line spacing. So what we do is we highlight these and we go to paragraph and it says before or after. So what we're looking for is, um, where am I again? Okay, make sure there's a single 11 point line space. So the line space needs single. So after each paragraph, this needs to be 11. And you can see that he spaced it. So after each paragraph, there's 11 point spacing. Okay, right. So open the J14 course CSV and insert the content of the table after the first, on the first page after these include. Right, so I'm going to go to my file now, which I've already got open and ready for me. Um, right, and it, what was it called? J14 course. J14 course. Right, so let's So just highlight the content. Control C to copy. And go back to your Word document. And... It says, right, the, so I'm just going to get the thing back up. So it says, um, on the first page after these include. So it's here somewhere. Right, if you can't find it like I can't, maybe you've already spotted it. Sorry, wrong one, I need it here. Control F to 
find these include whoops. There we go, so that's on the first page. Ah, oh, here they are, here it is. Right, control V. Right, so it may go over to the second column, which is fine. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to push enter. There we go. So it's after these including, it's gone on to the second column. That's not a problem. Right, so now we need to start editing the table. Um, Right, so it says delete the third column with the heading level on a table. Okay, so what you do is where level is, you can see it here, just highlight, right click, then go to delete cells and it'll give you the option. Okay, so you need to delete the entire column, it's deleted. Okay, right, and then format the text in the table as the body text. So the body text here is Arial, okay, and it's 11 points. So I'm just going to select Arial for now, and it's already on size 11. Okay, so there we go, Arial. Okay, um, so I keep losing my place. Right, adjust the column width so that the data displays all on one line. Okay, so, which it is anyway. There we go, so it's all on one line anyway, so it was there, so it was never a problem with that. And format the top row of the table to be bold and underlined and center aligned over three columns. Okay, so... Right, this needs to be merged if it's over three columns. There we go. And they want it center aligned because obviously if you center align it and it's not merged, it can't center align. Um, so, and then it's bold and underlined. Bold, oops, I just pressed italic there, never mind. And underlined, done. Okay. Um, right, make sure the table fits within the columns which it does so you can see that there's not one part here like there was earlier and one there um, and has a single 11 point line space above and below and displays the grid lines when printed well to display the grid lines when printed is all you've got to do is go over here and just simply display the borders so it looks like a table so they can see the grid lines right and the next thing says as a single 11 point line space above and below okay so that's the same what we did earlier single line space and it's got that and um i would go 11 here so if it says above and below i will do that let's see what that looks like if it's wrong we'll change it no i'm not going to do it that way so it says above and below Right, okay, my time's running out, so I'm going to stop there.